there everybody I just wanted to share a little bit today it might be the last time for a little bit I had some dental work done I'm getting older I need some partials and I've got a lot of teeth that's broken and needs to be well they're having to be cut out had that done and so before the numbing wears off I wanted to just share this little bit here and leave it with you for the next few days going forward and see if the Lord will not bring it back to your mind or answer you if you call out to him for more understanding. Um, because as I've shared, the Lord has shifted my way of thinking. He changes and renews our minds daily by the Spirit. Um, rooting out of us any wrong thinking. You know, we might uh, have a set of beliefs of who He is and what He's all about. And maybe that understanding comes from what we've always been taught or what we came up with. You know, that's how it was for me. And there just came a time in my life where I was so desperate to see a change in the way my life was going. I just hated who I was. And I just cried out to the Lord to ask Him, Are you really real? Are you listening to me? Do you care about me? I need to know if you're real. And I don't want to depend on what I've always heard, what everybody else has said about you. I want you to show me yourself. Are you big enough and powerful enough are you who you say you are? Can you prove yourself to me? And, you know, I think of a scripture that says um, that when we're talking about we're coming to them and praying and asking for things, it says first things first, we must believe that he really exists. You know, and uh, anyways, so there was a the tiniest little shift in my way of thinking that the Lord did. I couldn't have done it. I don't know what needs to change. I, I wouldn't know which way to start. Just depending on him to show me, correct me, teach me, whatever is needed. And this little change in my way of thinking just. It really changed everything for me. And I want to share it. And I don't think this will be long at all. Um, so many times, especially in my earlier walk with the Lord, my walk with Him was all about me. Um, like, what can I do for you, Lord? I want, what is my purpose in life? What am I here for? What do you want me to do for that person? Uh, how can I be of use? Um, what can I do for you? And that's normal. That Somebody else might think that way too. And like I said, that's how I thought. But really... The better question is, Lord, what are you doing? What are you doing for me? What do you want to teach me today? What are you thinking about? What matters most to you? He has all wisdom. He's the creator of everything. We must seek to search for him, remember, with all of our heart, to see what's on his mind, to see what he is doing in this world today, rather than what we can go and do. Because rather than it starting with us and say, here's the Lord, just this example, Lord, what can I do for you? 
what do you want me to do? It's more, Lord, what do you want to do through me today? What do you want to say to me today? What do you want to teach me in this circumstance, in this problem? What do you want to change about me? How do you want to help that person, Lord, through me? I am a vessel unto the Lord. How do you want to work through me to help that person or encourage that person? See, it doesn't start with us. We are not the source of wisdom or encouragement or good things for anybody. It is the Lord working through us to help people. Does that make sense? And so, um, let me just give a couple of scriptures. Anybody could do a study on their own. Anybody could go to the Lord. You know, you can do that yourself. Go to the Lord and pour out your heart to Him like I did. Lord, I don't know what this is all about. I, I know what I've always been told and what I've always been taught. But Lord, I want to start over from scratch. I want you to teach me who you are. I want you to show me what these words in the Bible mean. I want you to give me understanding, you know, and little by little, it takes time. That is what he began to do. Just like so many people we can find in the Bible and Jesus himself said, you know, I only speak what he tells me to speak. I only do what he tells me to do. That is what we're learning to do. What he wants to do in this world today through us. And if he chooses to work through us, what a blessing. What an honor. But none of these good things, none of uh, no sound teaching or insight or wisdom begins with us. It would be the Lord granting that through a person. You see, all good things come from him. And so uh, let me just point out a couple here. It says, well, uh, you can read all these in context and everything, but Psalm 94, I think it's 10, forgive me if not, tells us that he teaches us. Isaiah 48, 17, thus says the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, Excuse me. I am the Lord your God who teaches you for your benefit, who directs you in the way you should go. He's teaching us for our benefit. There is nothing. What in this world could we do for him, really? There's scriptures that says, if I needed something, I wouldn't even tell you. He said, what do I really need? He said, everything belongs to me. Everything was created for me and by me. I am here to teach you about me, to let you know about who I am. Get to know me. I've got many things I want to show you, Misty, and teach you, Misty. Isn't that amazing? We got so much to learn. Acts 17, 25. Human hands cannot serve him as if he needed anything. For he himself gives life and breath to everything. Isaiah 50, verse 4. He wakens me every morning and opens my understanding to his will. He makes me to Listen, as a disciple, as a child, like Mary, sitting at his feet, listening to him, listening for him, 
becoming more familiar with how he speaks to us in our daily lives, directing us in which way to go, learning about him, knowledge of God, getting to know this wonderful, amazing Father that we have. We are the students. We're the disciples. He's the teacher. You know? And that shift really helped me. So rather than going out and wanting to do, 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 it became more of just sitting still and, you know, finding out what you're doing. Which way do you want me to go? What do you want me to say? You know, we kind of get it backwards. He got down and served and washed the disciples' feet. He is doing for us. And as we learn this more and more, he then works through us to go and serve others. It's a beautiful thing. Exodus four twelve, he told Moses, Now go, and I will help you as you speak. I will teach you what to say. That's just a very few little scriptures. So as I take a little break here, I pray that anybody that that might speak to, to just go and put yourself before the Lord. Lord, here I am, knowing nothing. The more that I do know, that is so true, I realize, the less I really know about you. You are so magnificent in all your ways, beyond my comprehension. Amazing. And I just want you to teach me, Lord. I want you to train me. I want you to change the way I think. I want you to do your work. I am the clay. You are the potter. Have your way with me, Lord. If you need to break me, break me. Put me back together, Lord, to have a heart only for you. The rest of my days here on this earth, help me to know and recognize you throughout my daily life. Help me to hear you, Lord, and recognize your voice more. that I might become a, a clear vessel. Less and less of me and more and more of you working through me to serve and love others as myself, the greatest command there is. So, I hope that can help somebody to think about. Take it to the Lord for yourself. And I do ask the Lord to bring it to anybody's mind in the days going forward. That he wants to teach us. We can't teach him anything. He's the source. Alright. We're the beneficiaries of that source. Flowing out that river of life. He wants us to drink of him. You know. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Take care. Bye bye.